Corinthians 2, 14 through 18. For he is our peace, who made both one and break down the middle wall of partition. You know, in the temple there is a veil separating God from man. Through the death of Christ that was torn. Which means we can enter into one fellowship with God. We don't have to have two people <laughs> so we can interact with God and be holy. We can just go straight to Him. Having abolished in the flesh the empty, even the law of commandments contained in ordinances that He might create in himself of the two one new man as making peace so we have a peace because we don't have to keep the law Christ kept it now this isn't saying we should live ungodly the law is God's standard it's saying if we fall short it ain't up to us to make it up we just gotta look to him because he already did We don't, we're not bound to keeping the law. We're bound to Him. If we fall short of the law, that's where we go to Him. Verse 16. And might reconcile them both in one body unto God through the cross, having slain the impotency thereby. So we're reconciled by the death of Jesus Christ. All we have to do is look to Him. If we don't look to Him, we ain't going to be reconciled. We're bound, it must be bound to be living by the law. Although the law was completed by Christ. Where those who choose not to live, come to Christ, choose to live by a law that was already fulfilled by the only one who ever could fulfill it. And he came and preached peace to you that were far off, and peace to them that were right nigh. So what he's saying is he went here and there preaching. The disciples even took it even further than Christ could. Um, than Christ did, not could. So the gospel being preached, the gospel of reconciliation, the gospel that Jesus died for us because of God's love so that we can have fellowship with him. He defeated death, rose from the grave, and we can rise into a life for him. And this is being preached. For through him, we both have our access in one spirit unto the Father. So we gain the Holy Spirit that draws us to the Father. It's our entitlement as a Christian. 